Recording a remote interview is something that is done often and should therefore be easy to do. This is fortunately also the case in Hindenburg. And this is what it might look like. Raised in St. Louis, Missouri. Went to... uh, Immigrated from Taiwan when I was a baby, I think like a year old or so. Note that we are recording two separate tracks. On one track, I have myself, and on track two, I have my guest. Having this separation will make it way easier to apply sound treatment and editing later on. But let's step back for a moment and see how we set all this up. What we are attempting to do is to take the sound coming from the remote interview and record it into Hindenburg. And you might be using a number of applications to call your guest. Zoom, Skype, Google Hangouts. You are spoiled for choice. But the principle in recording a conversation is the same. We need to take the sound coming out of the application and plug it into Hindenburg. In Hindenburg, we will like to record our guest on track two. At the moment, the input is the default microphone, but we will like to change that. In the input selector, we can choose between all the inputs on the computer. And here we find communication device. When doing an interview, you will typically be using a headset and Windows knows this. Communication device is therefore, for the most part, set up as your headset, and Windows will route the sound from Zoom or Teams or other out this way. So choose that. And the audio now comes into the track, ready for recording. <laughs> 